got the backpack of breakfast this morning. We've got dollar sardines with some crackers. We have two lots of cheese, camembert, and some zebu cheddar, and cut up apple and coffee. Came to a grand total of about five bucks. It's uh, the best thing about backpacking is when you can finally find a kitchen that you can use. Um, it makes traveling so much cheaper. It's sort of fun, you get over eating like out all the time. Definitely becomes pretty old. So today we're going to Nosy Comba. We came back to Hellville after a couple of days up in the north and we had our uh, last night um, here back at Tamana. I'm finally pronouncing it right. Um, and then we're going to head off on the boat at about 11, 11.30. Um, but today's international cleanup day, so we're gonna get involved with that first. In my bed. Where? <laughs> Who? Mother babe. Um, yeah, it's gonna do a quick clean up. I think they're gonna do it for a couple of hours, but we're just gonna do it for half an hour to an hour because we have to catch the boat. <laughs> Lots of pictures. So if you're coming with us? Oh, for sure. <laughs> Little kangaroo. Sweating bad, so I'm not really going to talk to the camera. But I'm just giving some cacao, fresh cacao. That is a bit sweaty. <laughs> We're walking up to the top of Nosy Comba. It's just been straight vert the whole time. <clears throat> I've been drinking for like seven months. <laughs> yeah, this is Coke, cacao. Tastes amazing. It's like sweet. And this is full of pips. Look at this. This guy, guy has been living up here for five years and he's built a full permaculture garden up in the mountains. It's so cool. It's like many structures. Said there's like 12 people that work here. Yeah, look at these pineapples. That's how pineapple grows. It's so strange. They provide like one fruit a year, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, what a sick spot. It's so nice. That was a hard walk up the mountain, but this is a very cool area. There's a whole bunch of people we know came up here the other night for a party. But this is, and he's just growing everything everywhere. It's vanilla, breadfruit, it's cacao, pineapples, it's got vegetables, heaps of herbs. Very, uh, very inspiring. It's just remote, there's nothing up here. It's, he gets water from the spring and then solar, solar power. Here's another building that he's putting up. Yeah, the big old jeebus. Oh, so high up. Apologies for my face. Sweaty. Be all cheapers. Oh, that was hard. We've made it to the very, very top. It's called Bongo Village. Look at that view. So that's Hellville, that's where we've been staying on the on Nosy Bay. Wow, get the perspective of the whole island, it's crazy. Oh, I'm sweaty as. So you can camp here and you can camp. 
We've got tents for hire. And there's a bit of a permaculture garden thing going here. And there's a bar. Maybe a restaurant. Oh god, it'd be so nice up here at sunset. Oh, they've got beers. Absolutely. Mm. I see. Really good. Mm. Yum. There's so much life up here. It's just like there's fruit everywhere. There's like jackfruit and there's um, cacao. There's pepper, mangoes, custard apples, it's like star fruit, Lychee. lychees. It's growing everywhere and everyone sort of hooks into the fruit a fair bit and so when you're eating the fruit you're just going to chuck the pips on the ground and that is basically just feeding another tree. And there's like generations and generations of just fruit trees galore. Like I'm kind of full, I've just been foraging. It's nice, very very nice and we're really high up. It's hard to get the perspective on the camera, but it's super, super high above sea level. We are staying in one of the nicest spots on Kumba. It's called 293 on Kumba. And we're gonna stay here for a few nights. Uh, Marcin runs this place. We have our guest, Jenny. Hi. <laughs> this place is crazy. It kind of encapsulates every good thing about Madagascar. An abundance of mango trees. Plunge pool, which looks out over the ocean. And then there's a few rooms here. There's like a main structure of the house here. And then there's different bungalows. Um, no, there's one bungalow, which is segregated from the rest. And there's a room here, room up here where we're staying. And there's a room at the back, but it's so tastefully done. Look at all these mangoes. It's crazy. And then this is the kind of view that you get from your room. This place is so nice. So Marcin's been here for like 10 years. From uh, South Africa originally. We've been getting fed breakfast and dinner here and the food is probably some of the best we've had in Madagascar since we've arrived. It's so, so good. Attention to detail is ridiculous. And the coffee is good too. But this is where we're gonna be staying for a few days. So I've made a little video for my scene for the place and um, this is what it looks like. I never made it, but I know what it takes. I'm motivated by a mix of emotion. Got my statement and I'm reading it slow so I can understand it fully.
So we're at La Cobe National Park. Uh, it's actually still closed because of COVID, but we've managed to get a bit of an in with um, the with Marcin, uh, the lady we've been staying with the last few days. She's organised us to a back way to get in. There's a village that lives here, and um, because they were here before it became a national park, um, they're allowed access to the park. So we're actually going to go with one of the guides who lives in the village. And then it takes through for a couple of hours walk through um, through La Cobe National Park and no one's really been in here. Like no tourists have been in here for months, so there should be um, quite an abundance of wildlife. Maybe the lizards, lemurs, um, different birds. Yeah, it should be sick. So let's have a look. Walk through the park, it was rad. We saw heaps of lemurs and we saw heaps of geckos and heaps of chameleons. And now we're having lunch at well, probably one of the nicest spots I've ever seen in my entire life. It's <laughs> such an incredible perspective. So that's Comba. I'm not supposed to point here, so I'm not going to point. But that's Comba and they're the islands that we've been snorkeling at. And that could potentially be our new home. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.